Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Did you miss me? I missed you, beautiful people. I do not like dating apps, and I'm almost 100% sure that it isn't a controversial opinion. I don't know, maybe people are just displeased with dating apps since the culture around them has turned into more of hookups as opposed to a functioning relationship. I have on and off tried dating apps for a while after I left high school and stopped like a year later when I realized they're awful. Not only that, but I think it's just common sense that it's way harder to be successful on there as a dude than it is as a girl, at least in terms of finding a match. Now, don't quote me on this data, but I think men make up like 76% of all users on dating apps as opposed to women being only 34%. So there isn't enough girls to go around. So if you aren't a giga chad, rich, or extremely lucky and make it into the algorithm, you aren't really gonna get much. And even if you do match with somebody, good luck getting them to talk to you long enough to even set up an in-person date. I mean, if you think about it, not only are you competing with every other person on this dating app, but you have to assume that they've already matched with several other people and are probably talking to them at the same time that you are. So if you say one thing wrong or aren't as good as the other person, they'll just leave and talk to the other person. So the likelihood you'll even go on a date after going on a dating app is slim. So you're kind of just wasting your time. <laughs> Look, I'm sure they work for some people, but... <laughs> they didn't work for me. The amount of times I've been messaged and then completely ignored immediately after is staggering. Like, dude, you messaged me. Come on, man, fix yourself. I have been on almost every dating app ever, even the scammy looking ones. I went through a phase where I just didn't like being alone, which is super healthy, I'm sure. So I would just try every dating app, hoping I would catch something. When I was using OkCupid, I found that they had this mechanic when you like somebody's profile, you can send them something called an intro, which is just a message, and if people like the message, they can choose the match with you. It's a great way to get yourself seen if the algorithm isn't pushing your profile. So I liked like 80 girls, and then just mass send them all the same open opening line being like, yeah, I'm sure I'll get something. What's the worst that could happen? And, uh, I sure did. Bro, what's cringy dating DMs? Okay, hear me out. I come over, pick you up, and go out swing dancing. We make it home in time to binge movies on Disney Plus while I make us homemade brownies. I don't know about you, but I think it sounds like a wonderful time to me. Sounds awful. I'd rather hang from the ceiling of a meat locker while you beat me like a pinata as all my insides splatter in the walls. <laughs> uh, me too. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> True story. Honestly, I don't blame the girl. That was a really cringy text. Take notes, boys. Uh, don't don't send something like this. Apparently, it doesn't work. One time, I actually did match with somebody and even FaceTime them a couple of times, but they ended up no showing for our in-person date. I made a whole video about it. It's pretty cool. You check it out. But after that, I kind of decided to just quit them altogether. I figured if I wasn't happy being alone, I probably wouldn't be happy or very responsible in a relationship. So I deleted all my accounts and worked on myself, just like a big boy. And now that I'm fine being alone, I don't really feel the need to be on dating apps. Funny how that works. That's right, time for you all to praise me now. Honestly, I think I just have a personality you have to get to know in person. Uh, yeah, I don't translate well over text. It's like talking to a brick wall. Anyway, just wanted to remind you that I have a merch store, you should go and get stuff from it, cause it's pretty cool. We got hats, t-shirts, hoodies, um, a mug if you're feeling quirky. Anyway, thanks for watching, uh, like and subscribe, and all that jazz. Bye.